Hey guys, I'm Chef Nathan Lippy with Cobblestone Bread Company, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make one of my absolute favorite sandwiches. I'm going to show you how to make an English cub burger, also known as a classic bacon cheeseburger. It's one of my favorites. It's a guilty pleasure, and I absolutely love it. The first thing we want to do is talk about our hamburger, and I've got some really great lean sirloin here. Uh, you can get any kind of meat that you want, just you want to have a low fat content because the fat's really going to shrink it and make it not the best burger in the whole world. So I love a lean burger. So we have a nice shape here. We're going to go down into uh, cast iron or if you have a grill pan or if you have a grill, we just want to get those perfect grill marks. All right, we're going to go right down. We're going to go a little salt and pepper right over the top. I've got a little bit of lettuce, tomato, and onion. So I'm just going to take my tomato and do some nice thin slices. Now you've seen those restaurant style burgers and they have those perfect cross hatch marks. The way to do that is have a nice hot surface and put it down this way, let it cook about halfway, a couple of minutes, and then we're gonna turn it 45 degrees so we get a nice beautiful cross mark. And when I flip this over in just a minute, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so it's been just another minute or so. We're gonna flip this burger over and check it out. See these nice caramelized lines? That's actually the natural sugars in the meat caramelizing, getting some texture and some delicious flavor. That's what we want. We don't want a burger that's kinda, you know, weepy and brown. We want those beautiful caramelization marks. That's exactly what we want. Now, I like my burger medium, medium rare, so however long you wanna cook yours, just go that far. There's a fun little trick to see how done your burger is. Check it out. So if you take your finger and you feel right inside, uh, you can feel some resistance to it, right? So if you hold your hand nice and loose, and you touch that piece of your hand right there, that is rare, so it's kind of squishy. Then squeeze kind of like half grip, and touch there, that's medium. And then squeeze a tight grip, and that's well done. So you can feel how done your steak is that way. So use that trick, hopefully it works for you. We're gonna give this about two and a half, three more minutes before uh, we finish with it. So here's a fun little trick I like to do, just so my burger cooks a little faster and a little more even. I take a lid, <coughs> pop it over the top like that, creating almost like a little miniature oven in my pan. So I'm gonna let this go two more minutes, two and a half, four minutes, and we'll be all done. All right, let's see here. That feels right about done where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese. You know what, I'm gonna add two pieces of cheese, because that's how I roll, and I like a cheesy cheeseburger. So I'm gonna put some cheese on, back with my lid to help it melt. And now I have some bacon that I crisped up a little bit earlier. I've got some thin cut pickles, some whole grain mustard, and some horseradish mayonnaise that we're gonna put on to our burger. Now my favorite part of a burger is just this, this perfect ratio of like vegetables to meat to bun. And the thing I love about these CBC sesame twist rolls is they're so big they fit a perfect big burger. And that is absolutely what we want in an awesome burger town. So here we go. I'm liking this. Nice and melty. I think it's time to assemble our sandwich. Now as a side dish, I took some russet potatoes, I sliced them into nice wedges, drizzled a touch of olive oil, added some salt and pepper, and roasted them until they were golden. So I'm gonna put those right on the side. That, my friends, is insane. The bun is perfect because it fits this big, beautiful burger. Let's get into it. That's what a burger is supposed to look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. That is my absolute favorite sandwich. For this recipe and more, be sure to go to our website, I'm Chef Nathan Lippy with Cobblestone Bread Company, and I'll see you next time.